Well, joining me now is the chief executive of the company, Jürgen Rasmussen, from Carlsberg's headquarters in Copenhagen. Mr. Rasmussen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. If I may begin uh, in Russia. Uh, yesterday, Russia announced that it was going to ban wheat exports elsewhere. Um, how will that affect you worldwide, and how will it affect you uh, with your Russian business? If you look at the 2010, uh, what we have guided on now would include uh, what we see in terms of development on our barley price in Russia. So the uplift in the uh, forecast and uh, the forecast for this year does reflect what we see in development of barley prices. But overall for the group, because it does vary a lot by market, also if you look into uh, 2011, what's the likely impact by market, by region, the impact of potential increase in barley prices will not have a material impact on the overall group's results. Is that because you're hedged against them or because you don't expect barley prices to soar as much as they did, say, back in 2007 and 8? We clearly have very good visibility on second half 2010. And if mm -hmm. I talk Russia specifically, yes, prices will be slightly high, higher in the second half than it was in the first half when we talk barley, but for Western Europe and for Asia will still be down in 10 versus uh, last year. 11, I don't want to be specific about, but we have pretty good visibility because we started buying and hedging uh, some months ago and have good vis visibility for next year and the impact overall for the group will not be material. Now, if I could just but stay with Russia. Price increases in some markets. Okay, if I could just stay with Russia for a moment. Um, Budweiser has uh, introduced, uh, has been introduced uh, to Russia by InBev. What kind of impact is that having on your market share? I think it's early days and uh, I would prefer you talk to uh, Anheuser-Busch InBev about the Budweiser brand. But as you can see, our market share has gone up in quarter two versus quarter one. So exactly what we said, we believe we will keep increasing market share and come out of 2010 with a higher market share than 2009. And then I will leave it uh, to uh, Anheuser-Busch to uh, talk about the uh, Budweiser brand and its performance in Russia. And just, but just it's still how a very much, small brand in Russia. How much more growth do you think you can get in the Russian market? This year, uh, we still expect the Russian market to be uh, uh, in decline based on this significant mm. increase in uh, beer duty uh, implemented January 1st this year. So this year, we expect high single digit decline. But going forward, we would expect this market to grow on average by 3 to 5 percent coming out of the crisis and also after having been through this uh, significant uh, beer excise uh, increase we saw in 2010. So long term, medium term, on average, a growing market 3 to 5 percent. Now, if I may uh, move on to China. Um, you said that there is room for four or five main brewers in China, and indeed uh, you've increased your stake in a Chinese brewer. Is that something that you will continue to do? I have said uh, many times if we talk acquisition, uh, if we talk expansion, it's mm -hmm. most likely to be out in Asia in the case of Carlsberg, and that includes China. So yes, don't be surprised if we would be looking for more acquisition out there in China or some other Asian markets. And we certainly see us being able to play a key role in the uh, future in the Chinese markets. We have a very strong base in the Western China. And now we have increased, uh, or hopefully will increase our stake in Chongqing when we get all the final approvals through. Mr. Rasmussen, thank you very much indeed for joining us today.